Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with a custom content showcase for The Sims 4. I haven't done one of these in quite a long time, but I felt this was a special occasion. Because, well, if you're not happy about how Nifty Knitting only included one style of rocking chair, well, you are in luck because custom content creators have started making some, and in this video, I'm going to show off 13 different designs that you can download. Most of them are created by Peacemaker, and there's also one that I decided to include from Lil Dyka that I downloaded a while back. So, yeah, <laughs> I love how I just turned this, this room that was formerly the laundry room slash streaming room slash uh, canning station place. Uh, <laughs> all these uh, rocky chairs instead. But if you do want to find them in build mode, I'll show you that first. So you just go into comfort and go into living chairs. And then you can also filter by custom content and they'll be a lot easier to find. So yeah, I guess we can start off with the little Dica since I placed this one right here. And so this one is called the Rock Designer Rocking Chair. It's not just designer, it's rock! <laughs> Rest on this ultra comfy rocking chair, have a knitting session, or simply just swing to the beats of your favorite song. It's a three comfort factor. It's cool. And it comes in these colors. Yeah, I remember when I first saw him uh, posting about it on Twitter at the preview and everything, I was so excited to download this because I love the style. It's modern, but also very cozy looking. It, it, it feels like maybe it could fit in with the aesthetics of the Tiny Living Stuff pack. But yeah, absolutely love this one. Pretty happy with the colors. I don't think I have any complaints about this one. We will, uh, we will take a look at how all these look in action just to see how they, uh, they are with the animations and see if there's any, uh, clipping or anything. Because I have not played with, uh, any of these yet. But this one is the Nesto Armed Rocking Chair. So there's the armless one and the, and the armed one. So, yeah, they are both right here made by Peacemaker. So the armed one is just slightly more expensive. Oops, I meant to go into the color swatches. Let's zoom out a little bit, there we go. Yeah, wow, look at all this. Look at this range of colors. Yeah, pretty satisfactory all around. I don't think I have any complaints about this either. And I'm pretty sure they are, yes. They have the exact same swatches between them both. So that's good news. Alright, so then this one is the Baxter Rocker. Uh, yeah, it's this one. This may not be the most outrageous or elegant rocker out there, but rockers don't all have to be the center of attention with its unfussy design. This is bound to fit into many rooms, complementing its decor. Sometimes you just need basic pieces to bring a room together. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of the descriptions, I don't think. But yeah, they all have their unique object descriptions, which is pretty cool. And here are all the different colors for this one. Oh, I think... Yeah, because this is meant to be just a whole set from Peacemaker with the 12 rocking chairs, so I guess he just used the same colors on all of them, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, because the color range is really good here. I guess really the only thing that I guess would have made it a bit better is if there were some that had like different patterns and not just colors, but I guess I would I don't know how often I use those on rocking chairs, so I guess it's not really that big a deal anyways. I mean in terms of the play colors, you're you're pretty well covered here. Uh, but this one is the leaf rocker. <laughs> Reminds me of Leaf from Animal Crossing. I don't know if that's intentionally a reference. Oh, okay, but that one, yeah, it's inspired by the mid-century period. Okay, that's cool. You'd be a welcome addition to any room in your home. Uh, this one is called the Sway Rocker. 
I guess this one, this one felt a little odd to me in the style. I've never seen a rocking chair like this before, but I guess it is more meant to be used outside. It's a modern feel, but simple enough to work in many ways. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could maybe use this one by the pool, which we actually, we actually do have one <laughs> right, uh, right over there. Maybe if I just like, just temporarily move this down here and be like, yeah, yeah, I, I feel, feel that could, could fit in. I'm not sure if I can, no, I don't think there's any color that matches exactly with those base game chairs, but just to kind of give you the general idea, yeah, I can imagine these be like poolside rocky chairs. Okay, so then the next one is the tub rocker. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. It um, sets the filters when I do that. Uh, it's like a, it's a cub, uh, not cub, <laughs> tub chair. <laughs> but uh, okay, yeah, it comes in all the same colors as well. And then I'm gonna actually just put the Chrissy Cotton filter back on. I uh, got the Hoopback Rocker in both armed and armless versions. There you can see a sampling of all the colors there. And these two right here, I think, are my favorites in uh, in Peacemaker's collection. So this one is the Ad Adirondack Rocker. This one reminds me of some furniture that we had in The Sims 3, now that I think about it. It looks familiar. But yeah, definitely makes sense as like uh, a beachside rocking chair. Like, this would fit in pretty well, I think, with uh, Brindleton Bay. Um, yeah, 320 simoleons. Well, the design is also known as the Mashoka. Alright, yeah. You have one fabulous outdoor chair. And this one's the the Bamba Rocker. I'm really interested in seeing how this one animates because with that going so low to the ground. But yeah, I, I really, I really like how this one looks. An intermediary between home and nature. Yeah, comes in all these colors as well. I feel like, especially, I don't know why, it's kind of random, but I just feel like this one could really fit in well if you were making a retirement home of sorts. And then we got this Windsor rocker. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting too. I feel like if we had fairies in the game, not the ones in Sylvan Glade, I mean like actual fairies, <laughs> um, they would have this chair. <laughs> they would have this rocking chair. Because I feel like this would fit in pretty well with, uh, with The Sims 3 <laughs> Supernatural. And last but not least, we got the Wingback Rocker. That comes in all these colors. Alrighty, so let's actually play around with these. The, I do have four Sims in this family, so i can test a few out at the same time. Yeah, I'm most curious about how this one will look when rocking, so I'll do that. And I have Ezekiel, uh, play with this rocking chair. Oh, hey, that actually, that actually looks pretty good. I wasn't sure if maybe it would clip through the ground or something, but it seems fine to me. <laughs> Ezekiel, getting all excited. Actually, let's see how, um, Let's see how it looks when Ezekiel plays in that uh, Bamba rocking chair. Cause then it'll, um, it'll like sway to a, <laughs> a bigger extreme. There we go. All right, yeah, play with rocking chair. You can rock in this one, and then Neil can, uh, can rock in this one. Okay, yeah, I guess it clips a little bit through the ground, yeah, when, uh, when you have kids rocking it. But, yeah, it's it's not really that big a deal. It's not like, it's not like half the chair goes through the floor or something. But, yeah, these, these look really good. 
<laughs> oh, the case of uh, Caitlyn, her skirt is clipping through the chair, but really, I think there's only so much you can <laughs> you can do about that sort of thing. There's probably some official objects where uh, that would happen, too. Yeah, this one looks pretty good, too. All right. Uh, can have Neil sit in this one as well. Oh, okay. Let's, let's use a little Dika's rocking chair there. You can rock this one. And actually, since that one is pretty similar, you can rock in, oh, uh, in this one. Okay. Oh, geez, that, that one kind of like jerked for a second there with the animation, but maybe all the rocking chairs, even the nifty knitting ones are like that. But yeah, looks uh, pretty relaxing, well, except for Ezekiel <laughs> doing the, the play interaction. But yeah, I think, I think we pretty much got the point here. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, all right, you can get to that one. You can rock that one. Yeah, yeah, these rocking chairs, all of them are really well made, and I would like to keep all of them in my game. So definitely comes with a high recommendation from me. So I will leave the download links for these rocking chairs in the video description below. Uh, oh, <laughs> her ponytail is kind of going through the back of that one that's too bad but at least that won't happen with all sims but yeah wow these these are really good overall really great color selection and they all animate pretty well and yes just this gives me more reason to use the rocking chairs because i i do like the one that came with nifty knitting don't get me wrong i no it wasn't the one that i voted for but it was my second choice but still, like, it, it just makes more sense to have more than one style of rocking chair. And I guess since it was a stuff pack, they were pretty limited with uh, what they could do. But at least if you do happen to play on PC or Mac and you are willing to use custom content, definitely go ahead and download all these. Peacemaker and the little Daika, you did an amazing job. <laughs> Props to you if you happen to be watching this video. But yeah. Hopefully this video also just kind of helped you feel a bit more relaxed <laughs> with these uh, rocking chairs. But yeah, I will wrap up this video here. So be sure to leave... Um, wow, my old outro is still stuck in my head apparently. <laughs> Please be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from The Sims, Paralives, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day! Thanks for watching!